If you want a career in social media, this video is for you. I've been working in marketing since 2014. I've been working in social media specifically since 2017. And now I lead the social media department at our agency. So I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I really look for and some things that I actually don't super care about when I'm hiring a social media strategist. Off the top, you have to be a good writer, but it doesn't have to be long blog essay writing. I need you to be able to communicate quickly, efficiently, be able to take different tones. You have to be able to employ different voices and you also have to be on it with your editing. I, You need to be able to catch your own typos, know your punctuation, know AP format, because at the end of the day, as a supervisor to people in social media, I don't wanna spend my whole time revising your work. I'm not an English teacher. And then we all know for social media, on top of the writing, there's also the visuals. So I don't need you to necessarily be a videographer, a photographer, or graphic designer, but I need you to be able to communicate with them. I need you to have a vision and be able to put it into words so that someone else can execute that. That might be creating rough drafts in Canva or CapCut to show like, hey, here's the vision. It might be finding inspiration from other places and putting them all together and being like, take this piece of this one and this piece of that one or embody like the vibe of this piece. And it's also being very direct with in this part of the image, say this, in this part, put this image. Graphic designers are great to work with, but you know, they're working on a lot of things. You gotta be able to give them a starting point. So writing captions, dictating the visuals, all that, ideas, right? You have to have ideas that come from somewhere. I need you to be a thinker. You have to be able to come up with content, either be something completely new, or you see what's trending and you're like able to apply that to yourself. You gotta have some of that creativity going on, right? But on top of the creativity, there also has to be reasoning, which means I need you to be good with analytics. I have a film degree, I went into marketing, I did not have any interest in doing math with my life, and I cannot tell you how much math I do. So I do organic and paid social media, so paid is obviously a lot of math and analytics, but social also, you need to be able to look at numbers, at engagements, at drop-off times on videos, and tell me, okay, what worked and what didn't? What do we need to try now to take what we know was good and figure out what we could have done to make it better? Every post that you're suggesting, it should have a reason. It might just be the client wants me to post it, this is information that we need to get out, or it might be this is gonna be community building because our community really liked this, and I think that they're gonna be attracted to this, and it's gonna make them engage with it and encourage more people to become part of our online community. So you have to be able to have the reasoning behind the ideas that you can then put into motion through communication, right? And if you can do all that, probably the most surprising thing is I don't care about your degree. I have a friend who just got a PhD. Her entire dissertation was on Twitter and right before she was set to publish, she had to go in and change everything to X, formerly known as Twitter. So, you know, social media is a constantly evolving platform. So your, your ability to show that you can do it means more to me than your degree that says that you studied it in some way. And let's be real, the Stan account to social media manager pipeline is real. I was a Hunger Games Tumblr girl. I've hired people who are One Direction Twitter bloggers. If you can find a way to prove to me that you had a platform and an audience and you knew how to keep them around, that is some great skill that you can showcase. If you have any more questions about becoming a social media manager, what life is like working in social media, please let me know because my job has given me a goal to post eight videos like this. <laughs>